Good morning, everyone at Victory Church. We are here at the Sea of Galilee in Israel. We're at the retreat center that we have been at since we got here. And it's 8.30 in the morning, your time. Well, it is as I'm videoing this, and it's 3.30 in the afternoon. We're seven hours ahead of you. And uh, this will be seen during the Sunday morning worship service. We just want to let you know that we are all safe. We are all uh, prayerful and just using wisdom and conferring with all of the resources that I have, all of the people that I know, uh, just to find the, the best way to stay safe and what to do next. We have been um, here at the retreat center. We were scheduled to go down to Jerusalem and uh, it was not uh, wise to do that. So we ended up coming back here and we've been here uh, last night and we'll be staying here tonight again and we have been having a great time together praying encouraging one another everybody is doing well uh, we are making sure that everyone is uh, in good spirits encouraged and again we are praying for Israel God has us here at a very very strategic time uh, I'm sure you're watching the news and all of the different news feeds and it is uh, it's quite a quite a crazy time here in Israel right now. Uh, the president or the prime minister, Bibi Netanyahu, just declared war actually. And what has happened has really been um, quite a tragedy with uh, the terrorist the Hamas group coming from Gaza. And it's just been uh, really, uh, the whole country's on high alert. We're in a great place. We're far uh, north enough to be out of the range of any kind of rockets. So we're in a good place, and we're just taking it one day at a time. We're scheduled to come back Wednesday night, and uh, we might. We're gonna. We're making some calls through our uh, friends in the tour, tourism industry, and seeing if we can maybe come back a day or two early. But we're all safe. We're doing fine. Uh, but we do really uh, solicit your prayers. I know that you are praying for us, and you would continue to pray for us because this is quite a. Um, a crucial time right now and we want you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem pray that there's a ceasefire and things come to a quick end and there's the least amount of lives lost it's been very tragic and so we just believe God and trust him today have a great great worship service worship the Lord with all of your heart respond to the Word of God as it's preached let faith arise in your life and have a blessed day today in Jesus' name. Amen.